Hey everybody, it's John with ClearPlan. In this video, we're going to talk about the new on-hook feature that we have within the ClearPlan application. So let me walk you through this new feature that we have. Let's take this icon that we have down here in Tucson. So when I click on the icon, it brings up the information about the vehicle. And if I click on one of the vehicles here, you can see that now we have this brand new on-hook status, and right now it's showing green. And I'll walk through a couple of these things really fast, but what the on-hook status now does for you is that we're going to show you three different colors. And think of it as a stoplight, right? We're going to make it simple. Green means go. Yellow means use caution, if you will. And red means stop. So when we're using it here, green means you can repossess the vehicle because we've been able to contact RDN and make sure that the account's still open. Yellow means that we can't contact our RDN, so we can't verify if it's open or not. And this can happen if you're in an area where you don't have an internet connection. So proceed with caution if you get a yellow. And then the red, of course, means don't repossess the vehicle, because probably it just got closed out, and we just contacted RDN, and it's still not open in RDN. So if ever you, you want to refresh the status on that, it's really easy. Just come over here to where it says Refresh Status. Click on that, and we're going to talk to RDN again and let us know, hey, is this still out for repossession, yes or no? So this vehicle is out for repossession, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and hook the vehicle. So we come down here, of course, as you always do, and we're going to click on Recover. And at this time, we check again. We want to make absolutely sure that the car is still available for repossession, and sure enough, it is. Our refresh status is this nice green, so this car is good to go. We can recover it. So once you do that, we're going to click on this Recover button. And this loads up our next screen. So this is really cool because it's going to help out a lot, of the, a lot of the workflows and the processes that you do in the truck. But it's also going to help a ton for, for everybody in the office to be able to process the cars faster. So this comes up and, it's, and we have the VIN number. And of course, it's just test information. So the client and the lien holder are test. But you can see here we've got your addresses. So you can choose to use your current location or you can click on whatever address we give you. So you're going to choose the address, click on the next step. And the next step comes into our police department. So what we want to do right here is give you the information for your police department very quickly. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this, but this is just an added little feature that we added in here that will make it even easier when you repossess vehicles. So when we have one, it's selected. We're going to click on the next step. And this step is your storage lot. So this is where it's really going to help the office because we're going to process the car exactly where, we're, where it's going to go. So you want to choose your storage lot. After you have your storage lot selected, just click on Next Step. And that brings us to the miscellaneous screen. Here's where you want to go down and fill out these different, these different questions that we have. So first one, the odometer type. And this one's a digital. So we'll click on that. You want to put in the miles of the vehicle. Here you want to put in your police badge or report number. This one is mandatory. You're going to have to put this one down. License plate, we already have. And then you want to put the license plate state. Put in the color. And then for the repossession, did you use DRN? So yes or no on this guy. We didn't on that one. Were there personal items in the vehicle? Yes, there were. Was there any damage that you noticed before you put it on the hooks? No. Is it drivable? You just change it to yes on that guy. Do you have any keys to the vehicle? For this one, we don't. And do you want to notify the client? Yes or no. So we're going to go ahead and notify the client. Once you've filled all this information out, we're going to click on Submit Recovery. And now remember, there's on this particular one, on this miscellaneous one, if you're in a hurry, the only thing that you have to put in is police badge and report number. Okay, so don't feel like you have to put all this in. We know oftentimes you're in a, you're in a maybe a sketchy situation where you got to get in and get out quick. But if you have the time, fill this out. It's going to make everybody in the office feel real good because you're, you've taken a lot of steps out of their work as well. Okay, so once that's all filled in, we just come down here to the bottom, and we're going to click on Submit Recovery. So bam, we've just we've just done our first on hook. Pretty easy with ClearPlan. And we're real excited about this feature. So if you have any questions or concerns or, or update on this, we'd love to hear it. And as always, thanks for watching.